In a nutshell, what I would like to emphasize is that the regulations for NDFCs, especially in the upper layer, are much more calibrated, but are not, certainly not on par with the regulations applicable to the banks. Now, there is always that perennial debate which goes on whether NBFC should be allowed to accept public deposits. This is a second issue which I would like to discuss here. While the perception that the scale-based regulatory framework has made regulations of banks more bank-like, there have also been intermittent demands that the NBFCs should be allowed to accept public deposits. Let me emphasize that the non-acceptance of public deposits by NBFCs has the one is one area which has actually provided regulatory comfort to RBI to have lower entry barriers for the NBFCs, allow them to specialize in any sector of their choice and have lower exit barriers to wind up their business. Acceptance of deposit in whatever manner and form necessitates existence of a macro financial safety net, including deposit insurance and central bank liquidity backstops. These safety nets come with increased regulatory rigor and intense supervisory oversight. The NBFCs have evolved as niche companies serving specific economic functions and it is uncharacteristic for them to become demand becoming like a bank.